Hi folks, TJ here. It's like Christmas time. I'm opening a gift. Well, no. Yeah, it is a gift. A gift from me to me. What's the size of the box? Is it a Specky Next? Maybe. No. <laughs> is it a uh, TI-99? Maybe. I've been making lots of videos on that. Could it, could it be another Sinclair or Timex? Maybe a TS-2068? All the boxes for those old 8-bits kind of come in this elongated, uh, thin look. Uh, and let's show you, well, probably my thumbnail on this video is giving it away, unless I come up with a tricky thumbnail. But that's not what this is about. I want to open this up and I want to go get it on my desk so I can play with it. Because I've been itching to do that for a while. I took the liberty of slitting the box because there was a lot of tape, a lot of stuff. We're going to unravel. It looks like he wrapped it in like cardboard and then put a lot of tape to kind of protect the OG box. So did I start this recording? And, and you may hear my dogs bark. I've got them outside temporarily uh, so I can make this video because trying to make a video with dogs in the house and cats is, is crazy. So let's open up flap number one. Uh, yeah, see, this is a vacuum box. I don't know if you're seeing that. It looks like uh, he must have got a new vacuum or whoever this person is. I got this from eBay. I don't buy tons on eBay anymore, nor do I sell on eBay anymore because I said uh, I'm going to stop selling my shit. I'm going to keep it. I don't want to sell it anymore. Uh, okay, uh, what's in this box? Uh, this is tape, tape holding the bubble wrap. Uh, let me make a couple surgical cuts. Uh, does this show it? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, not really, but let me put this here. Uh, oh, this is... So he did a, a pretty good job, but apparently he has a, uh, a, a nice new vacuum cleaner. Or maybe uh, he purchased it as a gift for someone. I learned years ago. I've been married 30 some odd years. You do not buy vacuum cleaners. Uh, house cleaning stuff for your better half, I'll say either wife or husband, whatever better half likes to do that stuff, because they'll say, oh, you know, that's not a gift. You gotta buy them like gold pieces. You gotta buy them nice things that they like, because if you're buying them a vacuum cleaner, you're never gonna get any more. <laughs> what that getting is, I'm not gonna say, but okay, I think you can kind of see it through this bubble wrap. This is indeed a Bubble wrap around here. Uh, let me make some surgical slits. Uh, you can probably start seeing it now. Uh, Timex? Uh, no. Uh, does it start with a T? Yes. Uh, oh, I gotta make some more surgical cuts. Hold on. <laughs> uh, still more tape. I think you've seen it by now. Well, like I said, my uh, uh, thumbnail will probably give it away. But this is a. And it's a pretty nice box, too. Texas Instruments TI-99 4A. That silver and black one that I said not long ago that I wanted to get because my beige QI model is chipping me some cartridge capability. Cool. So, uh, this one was on the flea bays. Uh, it was noted as... Uh, I don't think he said new old new old stock, but he said like as new, uh, as new old stock as you can get. It's in pretty good shape, at least from the pictures that I saw. Some of the other things that came with it definitely look to me used. So it may just be whoever owned this previously took good care of it. We're hoping because, uh, you know, I purchased it as a working device. So I want this to work. <laughs> uh, so let's, so let's show off the box a little bit. Uh, so the box, Texas Instruments, home computer. It's like I stepped back in time to the 1980s. Let's show you the back of the box. I do want to get one of these PEBs, uh, peripheral expansion box, just because, but where am I going to put it? On the roof? This thing is like Herkin. It's bigger than Santa's sleigh. Uh, so in the back of the box... Uh, slides of the box, just generic. It says Texas Instruments. Uh, so, but the top of the box shows you this is the computer you're going to be getting. So let's read some stuff. Uh, take you back in time a little bit. Uh, Texas Instrument Computers, Home Management, Computer Programming, Education, Information Access, Arcade Entertainment, 
Then it shows a nice little picture of a, a mom and a daughter. Put the power of the computer at your fingertips with the Texas Instruments home computer. The easy to use home computer has a typewriter keyboard, optional dynamic speech, and exciting color and music. Plus step-by-step -step instructions that make operation simple enough for the whole family. To get started, just connect a, a home computer to your television set, snap in a command module, and you don't want to just call it cartridge. They have to be, everybody's got to have their own flavor. Command cartridge, they didn't even say card, command module, <laughs> and usher the computer agent to your home. So yeah, the box looks great. Again, the back of the box, I, I kind of already showed you, but I'll lean over and get my muscles working. What's the back of the box look like? It looks pleasurable. Do I want to get one of those TI-99 monitors as well? I'm one of those guppies that if I can find one and it gets shipped to me in a safe order. Shipping monitors is a lot of voodoo. A lot of them get busted to bupkis unless you really have somebody that takes care to pack them well. But the box of the back of the box looks like there's a modem, old coupler style, the TI-99, the PEB, some joystick speed synthesizer, a nice little display that I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, and it just, it, I'm not going to read all the nitty gritty to you here, but it talks about, uh, you know, telephone coupler, video monitor. Uh, oh, the video monitor, let's read that. The 10 inch color monitor is designed specifically for the home computer. It gives excellent color resolution, 256 by 192 dot density. Whoo, and display format for 24 lines of 28 uh, 40 characters. Then speed synthesizer, tie peripheral expansion box. Uh, I said tie. I gotta say TI. If you say tie, a tie is like this. You get your butt gets butted when you, you, you say tie. But when I see just the word TI without 99 in the end, I'm gonna TL. <laughs> is the I and L? I don't know. Uh, TI uh, peripheral expansion system, wired remote controllers. Uh, so the back of the box looks fun. This is a nice looking computer, and I do have a little bit of a love, like the Timex TS2068. I love that little slide in your front cartridge bay. And on the TS2068 Timex, there's a little door that opens up a dust cover to slip it in. There's no dust cover on this sucker, although there may be a dust little thing in the back. I can't quite tell. We'll, we'll look here in a second. But box looks good. Uh, it looks like Mayflower Transit. Uh, a little sticker on the side that's blue. Uh, and there's a Kmart sticker. $57 from Kmart. Rest in peace, Kmart. Uh, poor Kmart, poor Sears. Uh, uh. I was born and raised on that stuff. Sears catalog. Uh, so inside the box, which is really cool, they've got this big uh, styrofoam layer. Let's see if I can do this right. Uh, and the styrofoam layer kind of flips off, and it was protecting the computer. Uh, there's a computer courses hands-on experience booklet that's right on the top. I don't know if that would have been on the top from the factory, but it was. Now let's slip out this computer. I want to look at it quick, and then we'll dive into the rest of this box. But it's got plastic wrap all the way around. And so it, it seems like it's been... And there's a generic tape on here, so it definitely is not new. Unless somebody at some time, uh, like I said, uh, opened it up, used it, put it back in, never got into it. Hard to tell. But let's take a look at it out of its sheath and figure out what we got going on here. So I'm going to, uh, what's this plastic black thing? Oh, there's like sticky gooey on here. It's, it's emitted a little bit. I think this sticks right above the keys. So apparently, and it's it's a little gooey. <laughs> so that is uh, not where it belongs. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look at some pictures and maybe re-adhere it for people that actually use it. But uh, I'm, I'm doing a quick look. There is a little dust thing that covers the slit. Oh, uh, there is a little. So a, a little... So this this thing here is lifting up. That that's not cool, but uh, maybe we can kind of push it over and put some galactic goo on there. I don't know if that's 
from shipping, from a uh, previous owner. It's hard to tell, but it, it, you can kind of apparently see it. So that, that bumped me out a little bit, that that front lip is lifting up. It doesn't look like it's creased, uh, but it is, bit, yeah, it's a little bit of a, so it is definitely not perfect, uh, not new old stock, uh, but uh, yeah, th that does lift it. Th those type of little things do bug me, and you can kind of see it's a little crimped there, but let me get past that. Uh, I want to make sure it works first, and then I'll kind of go from there, but yeah, maybe there is some type of uh, galactic goo that can be put on here, or this piece removed and kind of tweaked a little bit to where it stays better. So here's the back. I mean, if you've seen a TI-99, there's basically in the back just, you know, the power port. And the, there's not tons of portage on the back like a lot of computers. A joystick on the side. A little cartridge port with a little door on the side here. And that's for your expansion bay stuff. And then, of course, your front solid state there. So, I mean, it, overall, it doesn't look beat up and scuffed. This this left thing will bug me for a little bit, but I'll probably eventually get over it if I can figure out how to. And if you're watching this in no TIs, if, if you know how that works, it kind of does look a little bent. So I'm not quite sure, again, if I can somehow push this down and put a little galactic goo in there and hold it down or whatever. But all right, cool. Uh, so plastic baggie. This also comes with, oh, and, and this thing is sticky, so I've got to get that figured out. Uh, Bill Cosby, <laughs> you know, he was a great comedian. It's kind of sad some of the things supposedly this man did. I mean, he's in prison, right? Is, is he in prison now or did he get out? I don't know. All I know is uh, he was a funny man, uh, but he did some things that maybe aren't so funny. Uh, and then this is all plastic sealed still. So maybe, you know, it, it does look relatively clean, uh, this thing. And then the this stuff. So there is the bottom part. That's it for inside here. I'll just put this over here. But it does have this little box. And this says safety checked. And that's why I'm thinking the guy, you know, it definitely was peeled back. So this is not new, but he was kind of parlaying it as pretty dang new. I don't know if he didn't recognize this bent thing. That will wear on me a little bit. But if I can figure out how to make it uh, look nicer, I'll be all right. So all this stuff, apparently this is all, like this looks like it's never been used. The TI-99 TV uh, little box. And then the AC power supply safety checked with a, r a red little uh, thingy dingy on there and nothing else in here. So I think that's it. Uh, I've got cartridges. I've got a TV box. I may break out this new one and just try connecting everything up, use it, and then show it booting for the first time. So hold tight. That's the unboxing part. Let me go spark this up, make sure it works, and then we'll call this video a wrap. So hold on. Okay, it's time for me to try. I don't even have a seat right here right now. I rushed over here. I want to see if this works. I grabbed whatever first cartridge I had that was a gift from uh, Sir Ben. <laughs> uh, Breaker 2. Never heard of it. Never played it. Well, I've heard of it, but I've never played it. Uh, I've connected it up with the TV box that came with it. And I've got it wired to my new modern TV. I didn't show this in the unboxing. But I did receive two joysticks, official uh, Texas Instruments brand. No idea. I've never used them before. But I've plugged it all in. I think I've got it set up. Uh, so let's turn on the TV. And we're going to see if this works. Uh, let's see. Uh, live TV. So uh, drum roll. Three, two, one. <laughs> I always get leery when I'm turning on these things I got from eBay. Uh, especially with a little bit of a up front lifted thing. Okay, go. Oh, the video looks horrid. Uh, well, that's not good. <laughs> these boxes are very crappy boxes. Oh, 
I might have to try my old box. I wonder if this... I, I need to get one of those cables. Uh, but it is running. But it's really hard to actually view. Let me wire up... I don't know if this is just not getting a good connection. Or if this is actually the computer. But it, it, it doesn't look good. So uh, hold tight. I'm gonna, I've got another switch box. I know this switch box was like brand spanking new, so you'd think it would be good, but it is booting, so that's a good sign. But the, yeah, the video looks horrid. Uh, so hold tight. Ooh. Well, that looks a lot better. <laughs> I'm using a little adapter and I turned the adapter over. Maybe it wasn't just getting, this actually looks not too bad. It looks a, a fairly crispy. Did I turn on this recording? Uh, Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so far, actually, that looks better than my, my other TI that I have. Now, I don't know what joysticks left or right. Uh, let's just hit return. Let's go in the basic. Uh, one for TI basic. Oh, I know one. Okay. Let's just start heating some now. TI basic ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or zero. Okay, I see them all. Uh, plus sign is equal. Okay, good. Uh, Q-W-E-R-T-Y-U-I-O-P, uh, QWERTY, U-I-O-P, uh, slash thingy, okay, cool, A-S-D-F-G-H-J-K-L, uh, A, uh, A-S-D-F-G-H-J-K-L, okay, that's good, uh, uh co semicolon, enter, a bad line, <laughs> um, shift D, okay, uppercase, that's cool, uh, Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. Whoa, those look hard. Uh, hard to read what an N and an M. N, M. <laughs> uh, comma, greater than, I got these little packing peanut things all over me. Uh, period, uh, shift, J, okay, okay cool. Uh, alpha lock, okay, they're all in caps. Control. I don't know what control does. Control. Uh, yeah, I don't know what control does yet. So, uh, needless to say, uh, I think the key's working. Function. What's function do? Oh, okay. It's these little graphic things. Okay, cool. Uh, working. I don't know where this little foo-foo thing goes, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, let's turn it off. So, the red light is on. Solid state software. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and plug in a cartridge and turn it back on. I'm hunched over like a hunchback of Notre Dame. A Texas computer. Okay, uh, any key. Uh, two, jawbreaker. Oh, i got to turn up the volume. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Any key, H. H, okay. Joystick is one, default keys one. Teddy bear. Uh, oh, God, 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 God. Uh, I'm going up and down. Can I shoot? Shoot the chakras? No. Okay, I'm going left and right. Suck up. Oh, is this like Jumpin' Jack? Jumpin' Jack's my, my worst game ever. Uh, okay, uh, go up. Oh, I ran into his butt kiss. Uh, not good. Uh, ready to, uh, what did you say, start? <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's drop down. Okay, I dropped down. And I'm getting, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, down, down. Uh, I, I, I got a super pill. Oh, the videos went to butt kiss again. Uh, oh yeah, it's just, I just touched this controller and now the video looks better again. I gotta get that cable. Oh shit, the dog's barking. Uh, Shit, what am I doing? Oh, there's a candy cane. Up. Oh. Power belt. Power belt left. Power belt down. Get that bupkis. Got that bupkis. Oh, one more to go. Oh, no, two more to go. Three more to go. Oh, shit. There's fast chakras here. I did it. <laughs> Ooh. I just went to the dentist yesterday. Go figure. Uh, so since the dog's barking... She goes nuts about any 8-bit sounds, 16-bit sounds, any of the sounds. It is working. I need to get that cable. I need to go to uh, get out, out of this RF modulation 
box thing because the video can be crappy. Apparently, if it's just right, it's okay. So it's working. That's good news. Keys seem to be working. A uh, little bendature on this uh, silver faceplate thing. Again, I don't know if there's any galactic goo or the proper, if this can easily come off and I can bend it a little bit or what's the procedure. So if you're a TI expert, let me know if you've had one that kind of lifts up on the corner a bit. I wouldn't mind getting it smooshed down. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, press, uh, did I get a high score? Game over. <laughs> you suck. No, I did pretty good. Thanks for watching. Bye.